Question. Explain the legal basis for processing sensitive personal data under GDPR and the additional protections that must be in place. Correct answer. A. Sensitive personal data can be processed under specific conditions such as explicit consent, necessity for the purposes of carrying out obligations in employment law, or protection of vital interests. Additional protections include strict data minimization practices and enhanced security measures. Question. How does the GDPR enhance the enforcement powers of supervisory authorities? Correct answer. B. Supervisory authorities have increased powers including conducting audits, issuing warnings and reprimands, ordering compliance, imposing temporary or permanent limitations including bans on processing, and imposing substantial fines. Question. Discuss the impact of the GDPR on global corporations, specifically in relation to Data Protection Offices, DPOs. Correct answer. C. Global corporations must appoint a DPO if their core activities involve systematic monitoring of individuals on a large scale or involve large-scale processing of sensitive data. The DPO must be involved in all issues relating to the protection of personal data and is crucial for compliance in multiple jurisdictions. Question. What are the challenges and solutions for GDPR compliance in cloud computing environments? Correct answer. D. Challenges include data sovereignty, risk of data breaches, and ensuring that all data transfers comply with GDPR. Solutions involve choosing cloud providers that offer strong data protection guarantees, using encryption and pseudonymization, and ensuring clear contractual agreements regarding data responsibilities. Question. Analyze the intersection of GDPR with other legal frameworks such as the e-privacy directive and upcoming regulations. Correct answer. A. GDPR often operates alongside the e-privacy directive, which specifically covers electronic communication data. The interaction between these frameworks requires careful consideration, especially regarding consent and legitimate interest, with adjustments likely as the e-privacy regulation evolves to replace the directive. Question. Explain how data protection by design and by default should be integrated into the development lifecycle of software applications. Correct answer. B. Data protection by design involves embedding data protection features and enhancements directly into the design and architecture of IT systems and business practices. By default, means that the strictest privacy settings automatically apply without manual user intervention. Integrating these principles requires involvement from the initial stages of software development, including requirement gathering, through to testing and deployment. Question. Detail the process and criteria for conducting a transfer impact assessment when transferring personal data to third countries under GDPR. Correct answer. C. A transfer impact assessment is necessary when data is transferred to a third country that does not have an adequacy decision. It must evaluate if the legislation in the third country ensures an adequate level of protection, specifically examining laws on public authority access to data and the rights of data subjects. The assessment should also consider supplementary measures that could be put in place to protect the data. Question. Discuss the concept of joint controllers under GDPR and the implications for contractual agreements between parties. Correct answer. D. When two or more entities jointly determine the purposes and means of processing, they are considered joint controllers. They must enter into an arrangement detailing their respective responsibilities for compliance with GDPR particularly regarding the exercise of data subjects' rights and their respective duties to provide information. This arrangement must be transparent and made available to data subjects. Question. How does GDPR address algorithmic decision-making and profiling, particularly in relation to AI and machine learning? Correct answer. A. GDPR places specific restrictions on automated decision-making and profiling that can have legal or similarly significant effects on individuals. It requires that individuals be given information about the processing, have the right to challenge decisions, and request human intervention. Ensuring transparency and fairness in AI algorithms is crucial for compliance. Question. What are the specific requirements and best practices for obtaining valid consent under GDPR in a digital marketing context? Correct answer. B. Valid consent under GDPR must be freely given, specific, informed, and unambiguous, with a clear affirmative action. In digital marketing, this means clear and concise forms, avoiding pre-ticked boxes, and providing easy methods for withdrawal of consent. Regularly reviewing and refreshing consent to ensure it remains valid is also recommended. 
Question. What constitutes personal data under the GDPR? Correct answer. A. Any information relating to an identified or identifiable natural person. Question. How does GDPR define a data controller and a data processor, and what are their responsibilities? Correct answer. B. A data controller determines the purposes and means of processing personal data, while a data processor processes personal data on behalf of the controller. Both must adhere to GDPR requirements, but controllers have primary responsibility for compliance. Question. Describe the process for conducting a data protection impact assessment, DPIA, under the GDPR. Correct answer. C. Identify data processing activities that may pose a high risk, assess the necessity and proportionality of processing, evaluate risks to rights and freedoms of data subjects, and determine measures to mitigate those risks. Question. What rights do individuals have under GDPR regarding their personal data? Correct answer. D. Rights include access, rectification, erasure, right to be forgotten, restriction of processing, data portability, objection, and not to be subject to automated decision making. Question. Explain the concept of consent as it is used in the GDPR. Correct answer. A. Consent must be freely given, specific, informed, and unambiguous, with a clear affirmative action by the data subject. Question. What are the implications of GDPR for data breach notification? Correct answer. B. Data breaches must be reported to the relevant supervisory authority within 72 hours unless the breach is unlikely to result in a risk to the rights and freedoms of individuals. Question. Discuss the role of the Data Protection Officer, DPO, under GDPR. Correct answer. C. The DPO oversees data protection strategy and compliance, provides advice on DPIAs, and acts as a contact point for data subjects and supervisory authorities. Question. What criteria must be met for data to be transferred outside the EU under GDPR? Correct answer. D. Transfers are allowed if the European Commission has determined that the third country ensures an adequate level of protection, or through the use of appropriate safeguards such as standard contractual clauses. Question. How does GDPR address the issue of profiling and automated decision-making? Correct answer. A. Individuals have the right not to be subject to decisions based solely on automated processing, including profiling, that have legal or similarly significant effects on them, unless certain conditions are met. Question. What is the right to be forgotten, and under what circumstances can it be exercised? Correct answer. B. It allows individuals to have their personal data erased under certain conditions, such as when the data is no longer necessary for the original purpose, consent is withdrawn, or there's no legitimate ground for processing. Question. How should a company document its GDPR compliance efforts? Correct answer. C. By maintaining comprehensive records of processing activities, implementing and regularly reviewing data protection policies, and documenting compliance training and internal audits. Question. Discuss the significance of privacy by design and privacy by default under GDPR. Correct answer. D. These principles require integrating data protection into processing activities and business practices from the outset and ensuring that by default, only personal data which are necessary for each specific purpose are processed. Question. What penalties can be imposed for GDPR non-compliance? Correct answer. A. Fines up to 20 million euros or 4% of the annual global turnover, whichever is higher, among other measures such as warnings or data processing bans. Question. Explain how GDPR affects employee data management. Correct answer. B. Employers must ensure that personal data of employees is processed lawfully, transparently, and for legitimate purposes, and that appropriate safeguards are implemented to protect this data. Question. How can an organization demonstrate accountability under GDPR? Correct answer. C. By implementing appropriate technical and organizational measures, conducting regular audits, maintaining up-to-date data protection policies, and ensuring staff are trained on GDPR compliance.